Hello again, everyone. Welcome back to Stellaris. We are playing as a piece of Star Hive in the new Apocalypse DLC. And, uh, I just sent... I'm just, uh, queuing up some, uh, colony ships to go colonize some of these little continental worlds that are now up to 70% habitability. So that'll be pretty nice. Um, what is the effect on our output? Complete. So, 7.5% habitability. So you lose about 2.5% for every, um... You know, every, uh, 10% of habitability, so... It's not bad. I mean, eventually I'll modify our species to be adaptable or something like that. I can get rid of Wasteful, or I can save up and get rid of Non-Adaptive. I think that's what we want to do. Because Consumer Goods cost plus 15%. Ah, it's, that's going to be what? Four and a half minerals? It's not... Not even worthwhile. I think we'll get more out of the uh, ten percent additional habitability. Oh, hey, there is some aurelium ore there. Let's go grab that. That'll be good. All right, so you guys are done. Let's go ahead and upgrade you. When we get the money, we'll upgrade this one. Construction complete. Construction complete. They're fighting. Stop fighting. All right, you guys are at war again. Which means that you're at war. Yeah. All right. Uh, now I can see you guys. Let's go ahead and investigate you. Your nope, doesn't show up. I guess I need to actually get closer. Oh. Huh. Is this a... That can't be an empire. This this has just got to be... Uh, um, it's got to be something that I'm not familiar with. Interesting. All right, uh, I want your space. I'm gonna I'm gonna want to get up there. Because <laughs> I am gonna want whatever they have. Targeted gene expressions for gene modification points. Yes, please. We can get rid of that uh, non-adaptive trait. That will be good. So good. Upgrade you. So that would put me over the naval capacity, but that'll go away pretty soon. So as soon as we get up to 127, then I can get another uh, cruiser in there. Not good, I can upgrade that. I'll get the rest of you guys upgraded soon. Building a new home. Okay, we are prime. All right, were there any other stations that I wanted to upgrade? I wanted to upgrade this one. And probably for good measure, complete. that one. That should lock us in there. So that's good. Complete. 
while we're waiting for those to upgrade, let's go ahead and upgrade these. Get more science out of everything, more minerals and everything like that. Very nice. Construction complete. Uh, of course, I did use up all my minerals, so... Let's see. Build that. And... That when you're done. And that. Alright. Implant malfunctions on the pre pre. Uh, hmm. Situation log updated. Alright, well, let's see if uh, Ashley can get over there. Seven hundred and nineteen days. Uh jump drive will make that kind of thing a lot better, but jump drive is way far away for us, so. One nice thing about jump drive is that you don't have to get out to the edge of a system in order to use it. It's a really nice thing. <laughs> it really is. Alright, you're just moving around there. Construction complete. Construction complete. Okay, let's go grab that since that's going to be cheap. And then those. Okay, you've been upgraded. Uh, gun battery, gun battery, missile battery, and I can't afford a hangar. Complete. This is going to chew into my uh, energy, complete. though. Which... Well, I got that, so that's okay. Complete. Might be reasonable to upgrade this to a Star Fortress so that I can get more trading hubs on it. I will probably want to upgrade this one because there's a gateway. Construction complete. Where did these go again? Ooh, yeah. That's going to be dangerous. What about you? Construction that I don't need to worry about for a while. Holy cow, they have really gone nuts over here. Really makes me wonder what's out here. There's got to be some uh, some empires out there. Home. Uh, which one is the one that we just got? We're prime. There we go. All right, let's go ahead and clear up these tile blockers. And on the edicts, land clearance. All right. So that is going to clear up three. That's really nice. All right, so going real close. Watch the world. Ah. No, nope, no, nope, stop. Stop that. All right. Apparently this is as close as I can get. I wonder if I can... Nope. Okay, well, whatever. Boom! I made the planet bigger. <laughs> it it genuinely gets bigger. I love that. Uh, Alright, so we picked up one there, one there, and I think one there? Yeah. Alright. Didn't get... We got one mineral. That's okay. You can sometimes get some really nice things out of that. Like, I, I had one um, get bigger and get me four... Uh, a four mineral tile. And we might want to colonize this one as well, since... Uh, but I'm a little bit worried about actually, like, over-colonizing and really, really slowing everything down. 
mean, as long as we're getting a good amount of, you know, growth on our, our techs and everything like that and unity, I, I think I may not expect, not grow too much in terms of our, our planets. Um... Because, yeah, more colonies really, really boosts up the uh, the amount that you need. Construction complete. Way more than anything else. Oh, implants not removed. How could this have happened? Um, because it's really, really slow to get people up there now? That's how it could have happened? Yeah, so... Not even close to getting up there in, in time. So I don't really care that much. I don't think it does a whole lot if you miss them. I'm not sure if I've read that event before. I should have read it. Oh well. That's one reason why I tend to read them a lot, even when I've, I'm pretty sure I've read them before, is because <laughs> I'm not positive. Let's get that and that. We're still staying pretty well on energy, and I've got some uh, colony ships out and everything like that, so... Can't improve that. Oh, all right. Um, let's actually have this one upgrade first. Since there is actually a planet there. And I was going to replace this with a shield generator. I can always replace it with a uh, science lab later. But given that these guys are in a federation, I'm really worried about them. So that is the line that I want to harden when I can. Research complete. All right, hyperspace slipstreams, hyperdrive three. That'll make things faster. Go for the energy nexus. That'll get us more energy. And we immediately want to upgrade all of you guys. Tile blocker cleared. Oh, I was just upgrading you to a starhold crap. New frontiers established. All right, Womb GM Prime. Let's go ahead and clear up these tiles. And are we going to get three tiles out of you? Yes. All right, so... Boom! It gets bigger. I love that. All right, we got uh, a two-food tile, a an energy tile, and a mineral tile, looks like. It's not bad. Maybe it was these. I don't know. Something like that. Targeted gene expressions. Um, let's get the selected lineages right now. And... Species. Create template. Eliminate that. There we go. Okay, so that will uh, that will help, um, and we want to apply this template to everything. That will be a lot, uh, and I'll have to do that with them afterwards. But that's okay. Situation log update. So forty-two months, but it'll be worth it. That'll be a whole heck of a lot of uh, um, a lot more resources that we're getting. Construction complete.
construction complete. All right, it's going to take a really long time to upgrade that. Research complete. Okay, and now we've got the Star Fortress. The mighty space for these mighty space forts will provide a focal point for all military activity in a star system, and their presence is sure to deter all but the most stubborn attackers. Corps of Engineers. Starbase upgrade cost, minus 15%, and uh, upgrade speed, 25%. That's really good. I'm going to make all of those uh, things a lot cheaper. Construction complete. Tile blocker cleared. All right, uh, let me put the gene clinic there. And over here, we'll put it down here. And I do have one there, all right. That's good. All right. Now I want to save up for the upgrade here. Now, we won't get this in time, but that's okay. We are getting a good boost of speed out of that, because Zappa Slave is uh, expertise Voidcraft, so that's nice. Okay, abandoned terraforming equipment. I uh, never like this event. <laughs> Since our initial settlements on Weir Prime, several anomalies in the moon's biosphere have been discovered. The ecosystem is unstable and has not developed according to projected models for a world of this type. Our scientists suspect outside tampering, and these suspicions have now been confirmed. A few of our colonists have stumbled upon a large underground terraforming complex that was built thousands of years ago. The equipment was apparently deactivated in the middle of the terraforming process, leaving the moon's biosphere in its current unfinished state. If we supply enough power, we should be able to reactivate the machinery. There is no telling what the end result will be like, however. Hmm... Who could have built this? Situation log updated. Uh, so if we leave it, we'll get food minus 20% and happiness minus 10%. Happiness minus 10% doesn't matter. Food minus 20%. If I just don't do any food here, that's not a big deal. Uh... Hmm... I don't know. I'm going to have to think about this. Really going to have to think about that. I'll leave it for now. Well, no. What's the point of leaving it for now if we're just going to get growth that we could get elsewhere? Let's let's resume it. Worst thing that happens is we lose the planet. Construction complete. Construction complete. Which is actually kind of bad, but... And I would rather not... <laughs> I wish you got adjacent research. Actually, it's not going to be done in a month. New frontiers established. Because I'm doing the other thing. Oh well, that's okay. Uh, this world has atmospheric hallucinogen, biological pop happiness, eh. uh, physics output plus 10%, and uh, wild storms physics output plus, what, 20%? Oh. Am I on the, uh, the physics tile? I am. Alright, well, let's see what we get when we uh, expand it. Planet gets bigger. <laughs> um, hmm. Very, very tempting to just, like... I mean, all those things are good. 
Two minerals. This is a 2-2 two -two for now. Three food. That's actually not a problem. Um, I mean, I could just turn this into a physics research world. Yeah, let's let's go up here. I mean, we're getting thirty percent there. Atmospheric hallucinogen, wild storms. That's that's pretty good. <laughs> yeah, this might just turn into a uh, a physics research world. Construction complete. This is almost done. Twenty five months for that. Construction complete. Yeah, I'm not going to wait for the uh, other thing. I'm going to just build that. Uh, let's see. Hard to see what how we compare. Let's uh, let's go in here and compare relative power. Uh, okay. Alright, we are considered the most powerful. So that is good. I'll take that. I can get two more star bases. So I've got these, and I'll get them upgraded. Uh, where else would I want? I do need to start building some anchorages. Construction complete. So I've got defenses there. I do not have a defense here. I don't have a defense here. But I haven't activated the gateways, so that doesn't really matter. I guess I can I can leave those until I activate them. Uh, I do actually need a defense here. Where does this go? Irobot, we're not at war with them, but they still might decide to try and attack me through it. All right, Legion of Rome 2 has leveled up. That's good. Let's get you there, and... Yeah, I'll just build over this mineral mineral tile. We'll have other worlds be uh, uh, food and mineral and energy production built places. Construction complete. Alright, let's get the uh, Batharian power here. Right, you're growing into this one. That's growth speed. Whoops. Let's swap you. There we go. That is the uh, terraforming. All right, nine months, and then we'll find out what this is. Construction complete. You're done over here, Robin. Um, let's go build up that. And you're done down here. There we go. So yeah, I'm not going to worry about the gateways because they need to uh, they need to be repaired. Basically, uh, there isn't an option here. But uh, when we research the tech, um, 
it'll give us an option. And so I'm not going to worry about it until I can actually do that. Construction complete. There's a lot of empty slots that I could be filling, but I need to think about what I want. Okay, we can actually get another uh, cruiser in the EFSF fleet. Let's get that. Research complete. All right, planetary power grid. That'll be really nice. Um, what else? What else? What else? Uh... Well, we've got a lot into advanced shields, so let's uh, let's start finishing up that. And for good measure, upgrade all of these. This should dramatically improve my energy production, which is already pretty good now. I'm pretty happy with it. don't have one here, huh? Then let's replace this. Okay. Uh, when we come back next time, uh, we will see what we can... Uh, what we get out of the uh, abandoned terraforming equipment. See you then, everyone.